Hi, it's Dr. Briner. I'm here today with Gene Barnett, Advanced Life Devices, and um, we are going to be talking for a few minutes about ultraviolet blood irradiation and the hemolumin polychromatic device. So, Gene, it's, thanks for joining me here at the office. Thanks, it's, Doc. Okay. He only comes out every uh, once every 10 years, so we're happy to have him. Once every 10 years, a little busy <laughs> these days. So, Gene, tell me a little bit about... Uh, UBI, ultra ultraviolet blood irradiation, okay. and what it's been used for. Just a quick history. Uh, for, it's been around for, for since the 1920s. Not uh, Emmett, not first invented the hemo irradiator, and they used it uh, at that time primarily for septic infections uh, because um, a lot of women were getting uh, under the counter abortions and they were getting septic infections right. from this and basically it was a way to save their lives and also other other means of acquiring an infection. So he uh, used it for that, uh, primarily acute conditions. Now today we have a lot more chronic diseases which seem to have generated themselves over the last decades. You know, you've got, uh, uh, you've got AIDS, you've got uh, AIDS is, you know, it's a, a difficult disease but it is treatable. You know, hepatitis, people have hepatitis now like they didn't have before. Mm -hmm. um, you have chronic condition, you have chronic fatigue syndrome. Right. We don't know when that Epstein bar, so Lyme, Epstein disease, bar Lyme disease. Lyme disease. Big, big deal, especially around these and parts. The knot machine could treat those, but the knot machine could not effectively treat chronic disease. This machine is based on the knot machine and it can treat chronic disease as well. And the reason for that is that we have, you notice it's called a polychromatic device, and the reason for that is we don't just use. UBI, ultraviolet blood irradiation. All of the other devices in, in, in existence are strictly UV machines. Now that's great because they all work to some degree. This just works better. And the reason why it works better is because it's much more powerful and it's much more widespread in terms of the wavelengths that we use in the machine, which enable other biological processes to occur. So if we turn it on for a second here, we'll... Um, Open it for you. It will eventually go on. There it goes. And um, you'll notice that we have six individual controllers for six different light sources. Um, we're going to use, use the UV in a minute, but right now we're going to turn on the red. And what the red does so the red is this there. fortifies an SOD, the catalase, the primary nucleotides in the blood, uh, and it protects them from generating a condition called methemoglobinemia, which can be caused by strong ultraviolet irradiation. Right, which one of the reasons why not, back in the day, if you would treat too much blood, you would end up with problems, right? So exactly. this, this keeps the blood from being, right. allowing it to once again be able to oxygenate the blood, or to be oxygenated if the hemoglobinemia, methemoglobinemia, those cells get bound up, right? right? Meheme, they call it, is simply bound up oxygen in the, in the blood that's unavailable for the body to use. So um, we so, have so this, this frequency. You have a frequency here that counteracts that problem. Yes, we do. Okay. And um, also, uh, you were saying something about uh, the knot machine. Mm -hmm. This machine is also being used with both the Zotzman and the Hermann machine for what's called hyperbaric ozone. So where you take uh, blood out pull it into a bottle, for lack of a better description, and and then it's infused with ozone and pushed back into the body. Well, this is put in line with that device, and they're able to treat, uh, I know one doctor that I know recently did 2,600 cc's of his own blood right. on, the, on the machine. On the so you could do high volumes of that problem. No negative effects. You could not do that with a lot machine. Or you could even just put ozone in it. You're not hyperbarricking the ozone, the ozone right, itself right. to the blood will also help oh, we super also, oxygenate. Yeah, absolutely, and you've got some great ozone machines here. Uh, we're going to go to the green. green. Now, the green actually helps open up capillaries, you know, in the body, so you get better blood flow to the far extremities of the, of the body, which is um, important for the chronic diseases because they tend to have poor blood flow right. and constriction of the micro microvasculature. So you got to think of, you know, even up at the brain or peripheral uh, tissues, when you're getting that is sort of a chronic ischemia. Mm -hmm. So that green is helping open that up, what you're saying. Absolutely. We're helping the blood vessels. Yep. And then with the, the amber here, the amber actually helps in the promotion and release of 
uh, nitric oxide in the body. It also is interesting that if a patient, like most patients are not in a great mood, they don't feel great about being sick, yeah. uh, as no one would, but using this in conjunction with St. John's wort and curcumin for three days prior to the treatment will help in mood elevation. So it helps sure, relieve those, those molecules are photoactive. They'll suck up certain frequencies of light, and I think that's why Gene put specific frequencies, which will also activate some of those uh, photodynamic molecules. Absolutely. So you get a double whammy with the with the amber, with the nitric oxide plus the the fact that you can actually uh, and we get the nitric oxide further dilates the blood vessels. Then we got blue. Tell us about blue. Blue is antibacterial in a small way. Uh, it's a little assist, but primarily it's used for balancing redux. Okay. In, in the body. Now we have two, two, two different types of UV. Two, right? two very specific bulbs. We're the only uh, manufacturer of these devices who, who have our bulbs custom made. Now this is a double output UVA bulb, which is specifically designed in combination with a UVC bulb to photoactivate what's called the Krebs cycle. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could explain the Krebs cycle, probably can better than I. <laughs> because, but that's the yeah. healing cascade in the body. You need that. It's where we make our we make our energy, the cell energy. The NAD, 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 doing NAD, anything. NAD plus. You know, it's, it's it's that it's that cyclical uh, exchange of, uh, of of electrons, really. So, cause, cause the so really, we also have the, the fact that you created and invented this this trivet cuvet or. Triple exposure, so you're getting more volume exposed at a time, correct? Quite a bit, and that's why these wavelengths are targeted on the various, the various um, levels of the cuvette. But at the same time, if you took this cuvette and stretched it out, you'd have quite a long cuvette. Now, the reason for this is viral inactivation, bacterial in inactivation, mold and fungal inactivation is a function of energy over time. So not only do we have 20 to 30 times the power of any other device that's called a UVI device right. uh, on the market. We also have 300% of the contact surface and time. So it's it's uh, energy over time. So you've got, it takes three times as long to get through this cuvette than it does just a single a single cuvette that has an exposed area of 10 inches. Yeah, yeah I've, seen, I've seen them even as small as that. Six devices. inches. So th th this they is have a, four inches of exposure. A lot more area. power, a lot more uh, antimicrobial effect. And the reason why you need more power is because you're going, you've got pathogens in blood. Well, blood is harder to penetrate because it's deeply colored. It, it absorbs wavelengths, etc. But, you know, and also uh, various patients' blood can be thicker than others. Now, besides this being a polychromatic blood device, we also, Gene, being the light guy, advanced light devices has made it so that we can expose other tissues in the body to frequencies of light that'll help improve um, blood flow and oxygen utilization and decrease inflammation. So as the blood is getting uh, exposed, we have like this very high power, I don't know if it's overpowering the camera there, very high power um, with LED uh, specific wavelengths, correct? It's photo red for activating molecules which we which we photoactivate. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, just so we can. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, so we can photoactivate certain substances. We have a liposomalized methylene blue we activate with this, but it also has infrared on it. So this pad is good for, for example, you know, if you're doing a Myers cocktail or something and you want it to be better absorbed. Basically, we're photoactivating the tissue where you were hypercirculating the area, hypercirculating hyperinflammation in a way, because what we're doing is we're, we're saying, come here, vitamin C, come here, glutathione, come here, you know, uh, minerals, etc. So, so you can do that, but you can also use it, say, for neuropathy. Uh, you can use it sim is. simply simply for a therapy, therapeutic purposes, and you can put two of these together. You can attach two of them simply right. like that. Put them across the back. You're doing the kidneys. You're doing uh, adrenals, etc., for adrenal stimulation. They even have a device that you created just to go right, right, right in the radial uh, arteries and veins, like right That's here. That's it, right here. We're just gonna. I'll just plug it into this one. As soon as I can unplug that. But this one here is 5,000 milliwatts of uh, photo red, and I would right. just simply attach it. 
simply attach it here. And so what we're doing is, in a typical treatment, we use a liposomalized methylene blue. And you got the radius and the only here. So what we're doing is we are, we have access to excellent blood flow right here. So we are able to photoactivate these substances in the bloodstream. With this, you put one there, one there. We've got some for the throat and the neck. If you, know, if you, if you there are um, so. people may have used certain types of you know red infrared pads out there for certain devices uh, on the market or even at doctors' offices. I got to tell you, this one little thing right here is probably more powerful than most of them because well, I, I feel it. I feel it, it. It, it. It's hugely powerful, and you know what I say if anybody says that they got pads, I say. Can yours do this? Can you see it? Now, I'm going to take this up here. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually through my knuckles. So that's pretty powerful. Here. And we're in the light right now. If this was in the dark, you'd be able to see this even a lot better. But wow. you can see it going through my knuckles. So we are penetrating deeply you know, into the bloodstream. And that's the purpose of it, is to get access to the blood to stimulate molecules traveling in the bloodstream. So the basics are we have one of the most powerful um, UV blood irradiation devices, or the most powerful. Did you say one of them? I, I thought I said one of them. I actually looked at some of the, the actual uh, comparisons on uh, numbers, and this is the most powerful device, the best one for getting at some of these chronic infectious diseases and chronic illnesses. And um, really happy that you came here to explain this. I know that these are some of, the, some of the top docs around the world are starting to use this device, right? Most of the doctors who are the trainers, the people that conduct the seminars, uh, that train other people how to do this, use that, and in, in a very short period of time, 100% of them will have this device. The reason why they have it is because it's better. They can have anything they want, but they use this device and recommend it to others. But both with hyperbaric ozone, without hyperbaric ozone, by itself, etc. But we've had, uh, we're going to do some clinical trials uh, overseas here uh, very shortly to be able to prove it to the world. So and this is like, no, or no question at that time. Well, thank you, Gene, for coming, and uh, appreciate it. And uh, come on by if you really Good want guy. to get one of the best treatments out there. So uh, thank you the very much. The only person in the Northeast that has one, actually.